Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing my Prodigy Points box I got in today. Uh, welcome to my art room. It's a mess. Uh, please excuse it. So let's get into it. Put this thing away before I hurt somebody. That somebody being me. bad boy this way all right now I haven't even opened this box I don't I mean I kind I do know what's in it because I ordered it but it's first time opening the box tuck that there let's see bunch of paper more paper Before we get into the discs, let's go to my God here. Besides discs. Okay, papers. More papers. Shipping details. Yep, 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 yep. I'll look over there later. Alright. <laughs> um Okay. So Polos that I got. And they should all be large. So since I'm hanging these bad boys up, I'll go ahead and open these. Prodigy. Alright. So. Alright, first polo. I have already got a black polo of theirs, which is amazing. Um, so here's the black one with the Prodigy logo on the front with the white on the back. Pretty sick. Been loving this shirt. It is super comfortable. I don't have to worry about logos being rubbed off or anything like that with the iron on stuff. You know, because sometimes, you know, carrying your disc golf bag, um, you can rub that little vinyl logo off. So second polo, I may have to throw a cat out here in a minute. Um, so let's go see here. Or have that kitty cat. Here's the blue one. It's really awesome. Um, get this sticker off here. All right, there we go. Back to the old box. All right. Here's the blue polo logo on the front, logo on the back, and it's got this crazy-looking like peach color versus the white, which. I kind of like that. It's kind of a creamy white color, peachy color. Pretty dope. Um, pull that one up here. All right. And this other one is the same exact thing uh, as the other blue one. We're going to just take this one out. Get the paper out. Same thing as well, logo front, logo back, blue and peach, white. These are so dope. So dope. Those shirts are super comfortable. Um, so if you wanna order one, links in the description below. I will put that all down in the description. Uh, so now we get into the juicy stuff. Um, wow, where do I start? Okay, let's start on this side. We've got a 180 400 MX3. Pretty sick. These are for, yeah, long, straight, 
uh, straight to overstable shots um, that you just want it to hold and then slightly fade out. Go about 300, 350, somewhere around there. Really digging those. Got another MX3 400 plastic. Crazy looking foil. Um, yeah, it's like a polka dot. I don't know, blue foil. It's crazy. Alright, so let's go and do this one. Oh boy, I'm excited for these. These are supposed to be really cool. Alright, I believe this looks like 500. Yeah. 500 archive um, from Isaac Robinson, the World Champion Series. Uh, straight to over stable. Have not thrown these yet, but I will. This is one's 177. Uh, pretty dope with the ship on there, dude. I like that. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope you're able to see all these discs. These are pretty sick. All right. Got another 500. Um, Isaac Robertson uh, 500 archive with the ship on there, greeny. The weight is 178 on this bad boy. So really excited to throw these. It has a slight dome. Um, yeah, not too flat. I, li I like you know, pretty much all my discs with dome. So we'll see, make some little glidey, the turn's a little subtle versus fast, you know? So if I need a fast turning disc, I'll just throw something flat. Like, you know, I'll purposely have something like a driver, a mid or something like that in my bag or a fairway that's flat that will be more aggressive. But I usually like a little bit of dome on my stuff. Um, oh, wow. Sweet. Rainbow Stamp Archive, Isaac Robertson, 2023. That's sick, bro, like, no doubt. I cannot wait to throw these. Hi, kitty. All right, so got the 400 archive there. Got a pink 400 archive here. So yeah, you can see that there's a little bit of dome on that. Like, it's not flat, like, you know, maybe a, I don't know, like a buzz or something. All right. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, that's not all the mids. So we're going to go, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. We got a Luke Humphreys Rookie of the Year A3. So dope. This is in the 750 plastic. Um, overstable approach disc. It's a 4403. Um, really like these for flick up shots. Um, panning, like Anheuser cut to fade. I mean, yeah, really, really good. This one looks like a really good one. I like these to have dome on them because it's more subtle of a turn and these don't get quite that much turn anyways. But um, it keeps them more over stable. So that's gonna be dope. All right. We're gonna go with this one. This is 750, 170A3, Luke Humphreys, Rookie of the Year. Little blue guy. Same thing. Oh, okay, we're gonna save that. Save that for a minute. Uh, <laughs> I just lost one of those. Okay, so let's go with these. We got the 300 Soft PA1. Okay, specifically for me, this is the 174 in the 300 Soft. So they're kind of they're really grippy with a lot of give, but they're not really that bendy okay so 300 soft pa1 i like to use these to, if i'm like 100 feet out or so 
I'll just give these a nose up run at the basket and I no telling, I mean, dude, I've thrown so many of these in the basket from like 90 to 100 feet, it's not even funny. That's why I love this disc. This is pretty much the only reason I have this disc in the bag is because it's grippy. If I miss the basket, I'm not going long. It's gonna hit the ground and stick. Um, really, really great fish. So I've got two of those, yellow and a purple. And this one's 171, so a little lighter. Which, yeah, I usually fan grip these, run them nose up, you know, at the basket from 100 feet. They're, uh, it's a 3302, so it's gonna be a little stable. So I can put it on that nose up and trust that it's gonna like put on the brakes and then like come back. Pretty dope putter. Uh, now, ooh, I like that. 300 PA3. Now this is a 3301, pretty straight putter. Um, I've never had a blackish gray one with a blue stamp before. Pretty dope. 174 in the 300 plastic. Um, PA3's got a bead. Man, this 300 feels great. These are my main go-to putters, PA3s. And I, I've been using the 300 Glow um, PA3, because they're really gummy in the winter time, you know, and they'll hit chains and usually stick. So, yeah, that's gonna be nice. I like that. All right, next we have in the plastic, another goodie. Um, a pink 300 PA3. That's pretty dope, dude, I like that. 174 gram. And like I said, these are usually a little puddle top. Um, they do not have much glide, but since I'm a hard spin putter, um, yeah, these work out perfect. I can put it high, flat, and as it gets to the basket, it just drops in. So yeah, those would be nice. Saving those for last. Sorry. Let's go to the fairways. Oh man, yes. Yes, sir. Okay. This is one that I love for straight to overstable fairway shots. Um, this thing does not move. It, uh, it's like a laser beam. This is in the 750 plastic and it's an F1. Hey, kitty. <sighs> so, yeah, laser beam. I mean, if you're thinking of something like an eagle, um, you know, something like that along those lines, this may be, yeah, it's a 7403, so. It's a laser beam to like slight overstable. Yeah, I love these. It just has no movement at all and just goes. So that'll be fun. That's 750 plastic F1. All right. And then we got another 750 F1. And the purple guy. So we've got a few of those. Uh, geez. Okay, we got two more F1s. Wow, these are really pretty. Ugh. Yeah, so we got a blue purpley looking 400 F1. Those other ones were 500. And then we got a pink 400 F1. These things are so fun to throw. Oh, what else we got in here? Oh, beautiful Frisbees. Okay. We have got the Shadow Facts, a 400 Shadow Facts. It is a 95 negative to 1.5. Have not thrown these guys at all. Um, that'll be fun. It feels really good in the hand. Wow. It's a slight dome. Yeah. Did you got, whoa. These guys are sick. What weight is this? This is a 168. Sweet. So yeah, these are the lighter weight. Um, I wanted something more easier to throw. Um, 
Yeah, just something I could just get a hold of as far as the fairway goes. Yeah, so that's pretty sick if you can see that. We got another Shadow Fax here, 400 plastic, a little see-through guy. And it is a 169 Shadow Fax. Now these have been my go-to like flip up forehand, uh, kinda over stable-ish, firebird-ish, nowhere near a firebird. Like, I don't know, they're their own disc. Um, the feedback. So yeah, I use these for flip up forehands um, to where they just, you know, I hit it on hyzer, flip up, and then fade out. Pretty good. That's a 400 feedback. Slight little dome on it, which is awesome. What weight is that? Hmm. Oh, there it is. 175. Cool. So, yeah. 75 feedback. We've got another 400 feedback. got uh, a 500 feedback so I'm curious to see between the 400 and the 500 to see if the 500 would be a little bit more stable and if if not I might order some uh, 750 if they have them um, which I'm pretty sure they might and another feedback in the 500 plastic and again, the numbers are nine five negative one three, so it makes sense why I get that little hyzer flip up to dump out. Makes sense. Um, now we're gonna go into distance drivers. Um, distance drivers, I've been really liking the D three. Um, here, I'll just I'll just pull them out. The four hundred D three right here is a thirteen six negative two two. Um, right now, for me, these are bombs. They're the most glidiest thing I've ever thrown in my life. Um, yeah, really good dome on them. Fit my hand really good. Oh, yeah. That's great. 174. So, yeah. D 400 D3. Another 400 D3. Wow, that dome is insane. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really gonna like these. So, that's a 174. I wanna get a hold of some lighter ones too, if I can. So yeah, those D3s are great. <laughs> All right, so the reverb for me has been an experiment because I'm in between the Falcor and my D2s right now, and the reverb, I'm finding it's like, I don't know, it's either ahead of the Falcor as far as stability, like overstable, more overstable than, than the Falcor. I'm not sure, I've gotta test these out too. But we got a 500 reverb with a pretty little, uh, I guess, yeah, that's a rainbow stamp. Pretty little rainbow stamp on that guy. We've got a white one that's a little bit more flat, which ooh, that might be good for. It might be good for forehands too. Yeah, it's a white 500 reverb. The numbers on these are 13503.5. So yeah, they're supposed to be a little bit more stable than a Falcor. Um, probably a lot. You know, skip here. We'll find out. And then I got a 400 reverb purple guy right there. Yep. And I have it upside down. But yeah, there's a 400. I've got a yellow board flat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this one is board flat, dude. Look at that. Board flat guy. This is going to be great for forehands. Like, I can already tell. Yeah, that's gonna be overstable. There's more plastic in the rim. 
Oh, let me grab this purple one. Oh, oh yeah. That one's gonna be way overstable. This will probably be like an X1, if I'm not mistaken. That is nice. Wow, so, so flat. That's so nice. Okay. Um, then we got let what's left of the distance drivers. The 500 Falcor with rainbow stamp. That is a 174. Yeah, 174 rainbow stamp and 500. The numbers on those are 13, 6, negative 1, 2.5. So yeah, these are gonna be a little glidier and a little straighter than a reverb. And I I, I bomb Falcors right now. I'm loving those. Another 500 Falcor. Just a simple reddish pink guy. 174. That's again in the 500 plastic. Then I got a 400 Falcor. 174 right there kind of a tealish green blue I like that and then we got another red Falcor here for in the 400 plastic and that is also a 170 175 actually nice it's a little bit heavier and the more plastic they have in the rim the more overstable will be yeah that's gonna be beefcake I like that and of course I saved the best for last um, whew, these guys are pretty um, these are the Luke Humphreys signature series a 500 spectrum a5 it's got Hogan on there shout out to Luke Humphreys and Hogan the goodest boy ever um, yeah, A5, flick approaches, backhands, subtle fades, um, really, really, really good approach disc. Um, I use the 500, no, 400 glow for a forehand flip up to straight, and it just holds straight forever. Um, it just glides and sits down. Really liking that, but these in the 500 Spectrum, I'm curious to see if they're more dumpy, which they are almost puddle top, so I imagine they will be. But yeah, super, super pretty. Look at that, just super nice. And the next one, oh, god, I killed it with this stuff. It's another 500 Spectrum 172A5 with the goodest boy Hogan. Look at the back of that thing. Wow. Just absolutely nuts. Yeah. So a two A5s with Hogan on there. Wanted to support Luke. Um, and have Hogan in the bag. Well guys, that does it for the video. Um, I hope y'all liked my Prodigy Points box in the bag. In the, in the, not in the bag, in the box. Um, but yeah, thanks for the support, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.